Hey guys, welcome back to the Blue Milk Show. How you guys doing out there today? Today we're going to do a fan reaction of the speech from Independence Day. Independence Day came out July 2nd, 1996. I was about 15 at the time, turning 16. It was one of my favorite movies that summer. I probably went to the movies about four or five times to see it. Each time this speech gave me the chills. Let's see what it does to me right now. You guys sit back and hold tight. Sir. Good morning. Good morning. In less than an hour, aircraft from here will join others from around the world. And you will be launching the largest aerial battle in the history of mankind. Mankind, that word should have new meaning for all of us today. We can't be consumed by our petty differences anymore. We will be united in our common interest. Perhaps it's fate that today is the 4th of July. And you will once again be fighting for our freedom. Not from tyranny, oppression, or persecution. But from annihilation. We're fighting for our right to live. We're there, get to. To exist. And should we win the day, the 4th of July will no longer be known as an American holiday, but as the day when the world declared in one voice, we will not go quietly into the night. We will not vanish without a fight. We're going to live on. We're going to survive. Today, we celebrate our Independence Day. Well, you guys tell me what you think. I definitely got chills again. So, uh, just that speech alone. And the part where, uh, what's his name? Uh, Quaid, or uh, I forget his first name. Quaid, when he was asking for the coffee. And he just said, keep it coming, keep it coming. This is good stuff, keep it coming. It was a great movie. And it's been 22 years today. You guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to comment. And until next time. May the force be with you.